it's um, now just approaching 7pm, 21st of August. Uh, we've just arrived back from holiday, um, reported this to Seven Trent Water as a sewage flood um, at around about 6 o'clock, so about an hour ago. Uh, and they've promised to come out and fix this on the basis that it's um, a potential pollutant issue. Um, but this, is, uh, this has happened before um, and it backs up from the uh, sewage and is forced up through the drains on the main road of Ladywood. Uh, and from then it will course like a river down our drive on both sides of the drive uh, with quite a lot of force. As you can see it um, floods and washes all of the gravel away. So you can see this is all raw sewage running down the drive in uh, streams and torrents. So you can see going back there where it's come off the drive, off the road, and it's running down here, down our drive, running along the borders, both sides here look quite a wide angle. Um, there's lots of uh, bits of debris that have been washed up, um, all sorts of unsavoury stuff, um, toilet paper, tampons, sanitary towels, um, all the nasty stuff um, that uh, you would expect to find in a sewer. Uh, you can see then it's continuing to run down the drive, collecting in a big pool here, as you can see, and then running down onto the grass. Um, this is the saddest thing of all for me. Um, this is a wildlife area with a wild pond with tench and carp in it, and it's taken me 10 years to establish this. Um, and the whole thing has been uh, polluted, all the fresh water has been replaced with raw sewage, so sadly um, everything in there will die, plants, newts, frogs, tench, carp, everything. The whole thing will have to be emptied and stripped out, um, thoroughly cleaned, refilled, restocked, um, but of course uh, that's um, taken 10 years to get like that uh, and it's been destroyed within a few hours. So you can see here now it's run all the way down the drive. This is the lawn. Huge puddle of sewage here under the children's swings and then it carries on running through the garden and out of the back gate and the other side of this gate it will continue to run straight into the River Severn. So all of this all of this raw sewage I can't get to the gate to open it because I don't want to walk into all of this um, but everything here um, you can see is absolutely saturated uh, but this trust me the other side of this gate is the River Severn and this raw sewage will be flooding straight into the River Severn. So, um, a really disgusting and uh, tragic thing. Um, not the first time, um, but certainly the worst so far. Um, for some reason, that um, drain at the top of the drive fails and the sewer black backs up and that's the consequence. So all of that gra gravel will have to be stripped off because it's polluted and obviously we don't want the kids and the animals um, playing about and messing in it, um, clear all the sanitary towels and all the other horrible stuff away. Um, and then all of this area will be, have to be um, stripped and cleared, all of the sewage will have to be pumped out of the pond, it will have to be completely cleaned and um, restocked. So we're waiting now for Seven Trent to arrive this evening 
Uh, it's exactly seven o'clock now. We've been promised that they will come out, um, and hopefully they um, they'll turn up soon and sort the problem out. Because um, you know, as you can see, uh, this is quite horrible, and it's not uh, it's not slowing up by any means. It's just a continual river of sewage. So hopefully we'll see seven trends soon.